Greetings and salutations! It is Monday, November 17th. It's been a long time since we've done this. Let's play some WoW! I really hope this works. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna break up this first week into just like an introduction to Warlords and, uh, we'll see what happens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is talk to you about leveling. So, leveling in Warlords is pretty straightforward. There isn't a lot of variation, um, well, it kind of is. So as you can see, I am in my garrison. It's very pretty. You get here immediately after doing the opening stuff. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a major city. Let's make my map a little bigger here. So, you're gonna go to a major city, and it does not matter. You can go, you can start this in Shrine, you can do this in Stormwind, you can do this probably in Iron Forge, I would imagine, any of the major cities. Um, I would just recommend doing it in Shrine, it's the least busy that I noticed. My husband did started his in Stormwind, and it was chaotic. Um, so, here's what happens. Um, when you log in as soon as Warlords goes live, for those of you that haven't done this, um, big window will pop up and it'll say what's new, what's changed, etc. I didn't even bother reading that, I just rather figure it out as I go. Um, and then it says accept quest and you start your Warlords quest. So you, talk, you have to go find Khadgar. Then when I played it was, you know, opening night so there was like, it was crazy. Um, there's a bit of a cinematic and it kind of talks about the Dark Portal. And then you go to, or you get warped to what was Hellfire Peninsula is now Tanan Jungle. And it is, you can see on the map here where this dark portal is, it's right about here. You don't actually get to go to Tanan Jungle yet because there's no flying. That's the other thing. You do not get flying when you hit level 100. Um, they don't want to cheapen the experience, they said. I'm kind of indifferent about it. I enjoy flying, but the landscape is really pretty and it, yeah, it takes a bit longer, but it's really gorgeous around you, so I don't worry too much. It takes a little bit longer, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's taking you an, enorm an enormous amount of time. There are lots of flight points to get you from place to place if you have to backtrack because you forgot something where you just need to go to an end to leave to log out. Um, and today there was no queue time, which is very strange. The last few days that we've logged in, there's been an over 1,000 person queue time, so this is pretty good. Um, so if you are Alliance, you will start in Shadowmoon Valley. After that, your garrison is here in Lunarfell. If you are in Frostfire, I don't know exactly where you start. I'm assuming in one of these. I am sorry, I do not know where you start, um, but you will have a garrison in Frostfire. And once that is done, come on, um, you're gonna go, you will get, you will quest in that area. So Horde, you will quest, you see from 90 to 93. You can really do it up until 92. You don't have to go the whole way. So Horde, you will start in Frostfire Alliance. You will start in Shadowmoon Valley, and then you'll go to Gorgrind. Now, this is kind of how it works. If you are grouping together, um, well, I, I'll just kind of explain as we go. So you start essentially in High Pass. And high pass, you build an outpost for your garrison. So you get, um, by completing the lo the, ch the chain to complete your outpost, you get a book that allows you to buy and upgrade certain buildings into certain plans for your garrison. Um, so they're pretty handy. You get one for each of the four zones that you're gonna be leveling in. Um, and you can kind of see here, um, I basically only quested in this area because for Gorgrind, I chose, what did I choose for Gorgrind? I don't remember now. Hmm. That's a problem. What did I choose? Crap. Um, I know Hubby and I chose very, we chose different and it's a problem in Gorgrind because he quested all throughout here. Your quests are very, very different in Gorgrind. They're the only one, so the rest of them, um, the quests are a little bit different, but you end up in the same area, so it ends up working out okay. Anyway, I chose... What did I choose for Gorgrind? I can't remember now. I guess I'm gonna have to look this up, which means you're gonna have to look at a black screen for a minute. I'm so sorry. And I apologize for the, uh, other noises. I've got my husband's thing open so I can do garrison stuff. We'll do garrison stuff tomorrow. Uh... Outpost, outpost, here we go, okay. So, like I said, you build an outpost in each of the four zones after, so. Gorgrind, okay, so you can either build a lumber yard or a sparring arena. I built the lumber yard, um, and the benefits, there's benefits for each one. Um, the lumber yard, and you get different followers as well, so depending on what you choose, you'll get a different follower. Um, so, for Gorgrind, I chose the lumber yard, my husband chose the um, sparring arena, and then yeah, at the end of each one, when you've completed your outpost, you'll get a follower that you kind of got for questing, and I'll explain followers tomorrow when we talk about garrisons. 
Um, so this is Gorgren. You'll go there until about 94, and then you'll get a quest to take you back to Shadowland Valley, and you'll quest a little bit more in here, and you can unlock stuff for your garrison. You get stuff pretty much every two levels um, in this game. So you get improved spells at level 20, uh, 92, 94, 96, and 98, and it's just spells that you've already you already have, just they get improved. So for example, when I was in Shadow, one of the ones I got um, was improved shadow orbs. So instead of stacking up three shadow orbs, I can stack up to five, which is pretty cool. Um, so once you're done there, you'll get to 94, you'll go back to your garrison, you'll unlock a couple more things, and then you will go to Talador. And Talador, you, your, your garrison is at Fort Rin. Um, there's Auchindoon before it became a wasteland, essentially. Um, and yeah, so the, you'll start here, and then your options for Talador, which is now essentially Terra Force. Gorgrind is basically Blades Edge Mountains, basically, and I say this very, very generally. It does not look the same, it does not, like, nothing is the same really, but it's generally in the area, and you'll notice some of the towns are the same. So Talador, you can either build the Arcane Sanctum or the Arsenal. I built the Arcane Sanctum, and one of the bonuses it has is it gives you a direct portal to your garrison. Um, and I don't remember what the Arsenal does. Let's take a look. Hmm. Arsenal. Oh, you get to... So basically what happens is every zone gives you a, call, gives you a garrison ability, and depending on what your outpost is, it changes. So, um, like for Talador, Mine gives me a guardian orb that does um, damage, uh, just an orb that does like electricity damage to everything in the area. My husband chose the arsenal and his was like a big uh, like airstrike, basically. Um, so that's how that part works. Um, and then in, in Shadow Moon Valley, it just stays as the call to arms and you just get a bunch of people from your um, garrison to help you for 30 seconds. Um, and then once you are done in Talador, you will go back again to your garrison and do some stuff there. And then you will go to Spires of Iraq from 96 to 98 your garrison will be in Southport and husband and I actually chose the same one this time it is the you can either choose let's go back I apologize for the black screen but I want to make sure I give this to you correctly uh, you can choose the smuggling run or the brewery now the smuggling run we both picked like I said um, so let's talk about the brewery first um, so, uh, the brewery gives you um, the move. The extra move is a called home away from home, and it gives you a teleport directly back to your outpost in that zone. Um, and you also get a passive, which is twenty percent boosted experience in Spires of Iraq, uh, which is pretty sweet. So Spires of Iraq is doesn't really exist in in our timeline of Outland. Um, so yeah, because this is basically Terracar Forest. This is basically um, Blade's Edge. Foxfire Ridge doesn't really exist. Tanan Jungle is what is now Hellfire. Shadowland Valley is the same, except it looks way different. And uh, Nagrand is, um, or sorry, Nagrand is Nagrand. I, I, I've had this way that I've stayed up for so long, and then now I see like the, I hear them say it, or I, see, I, see, I hear the people, the characters in game say it, or I hear like the devs say it, and I'm like, crap. Oh, this is gonna take forever. So it's Nagrand. It's Draenor. Or Draenor, 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 I don't know, whatever, uh, I'll figure it out. Anyway, so I don't want to hear about how I'm pronouncing it wrong, I don't care, I really don't. Um, also, uh, Shadrath is right here, and I haven't really been there yet, you don't get, a, you get some quests to take you there, not a lot, you mostly deal in uh, Auchindoon. So, that is where Spires of Iraq is, so the one that we took, the, uh, the outpost option that we took, is called Smuggling Run, and every 10 minutes you can summon a vendor, and he has a chance to get you a follower. He will get you a, there's a toy that he can drop, um, various little potions, you can only buy a couple at a time, um, that give you boosted experience, um, resource cost reduction, things like that. It's, it's pretty cool, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool or sweet, depending on what, what I'm trying to come up with. Anyway, you get to 98, go back to your garrison, do a little bit more stuff, then you go to Nagrand. And Nagrand is all, where you're gonna go all the way to 100. Your place is Talar, or Talari Station. Horde, I'm not, I don't actually know if all of, if any of these are Horde. I don't, oh yeah, I think some of these are, I think these are all Horde as well. Anyway, 
Um, and your options for this one, um, you can either turn into a tank and do crazy amounts of damage, or you get a special Talbuk mount. It doesn't add to your mount collection, it's just a, it's only on use in the grind and it's on the little call to arms, or the, on the little garrison ability button on your bar. Um, and it allows you to mount in combat, stay mounted in combat, and cast spells while mounted and interact with things. So you can do herbalism, you can do looting, you can do disenchanting, whatever you like, all while mounted. So that's the one I took. Husband chose the tank because he was being different. Um, the only reason we chose the same one in this one was because the other one, the brewery, gave uh, a passive experience boost and we wanted to level it relatively at the same time. So that's how that works. I'm gonna, the only other thing I'm going to talk about quickly is the um, bonus objectives. So you don't see them here because I did them already, but I will show you in Gorgund. You'll see these little signs all over the map. These are bonus objectives and they're um, completely separate from the quest. You don't have to do them at all. While you're leveling, they'll give you a good chunk of gold and a pretty good experience bonus. It's basically like an extra quest. Um, there's usually a few elites and yeah, they give pretty good rep or not rep uh sorry experience and then once you're done they just give you more gold um so you can see all of them now there are for questing there are achievements so let's go quickly over the achievements so these are the storylines there are various chapters and while you are in the zones you can't really see well you can uh story progress so shadow moon valley i have completed all seven chapters so i got the achievement worth 25 points it says which i don't believe them yeah no it's not um, okay, so you finish the complete the assault in the dark portal. That's like the opening quest line, and then I did all we did all the bonus objectives. These are all the uh, chapters for uh, Shadowloom. These are all the chapters for Gorgon. These are all the chapters for Talador. I don't know why? Oh, right, because then this is the extra thing when you're starting to work on the legendary quest line. And which I will talk about in another video. Spires of Arachnagrant. And then you can see I still have all the bonus objectives to do. And then Garrison Campaign Chapters. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Um, I assume you need a level 3 Garrison in order to, for any of these to start showing up. So I don't actually know. I think they're just like... I, these are... I think these are just... Yeah, because the Ring of Blood is like a daily. So some of these I'm not going to do. Some of them I will. So we shall see. But yeah. So that's it for like questing throughout Warlords. You're going to spend a lot of time in your garrison. So there are lots of guides. I said we will talk about garrisons tomorrow. I will go over all of the options and how you go about getting everything. I don't have everything yet. Um, I'm still working on getting it to level three so I can get the pet menagerie because pets. And uh, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that informative. Again, I apologize for the black screen. I don't know why that doesn't work. Probably because I don't play in windowed, but who plays WoW in Windows? Seriously. Well, I'm sure some people do. Don't hate me. Uh, anyway, you know the deal. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.